Hi everyone, this is Magesh Free from my stamp garden. Thank you so much for stopping today. Today's card is for the global stamp in video hop. So this month we are focusing a must to try card making technique. So for this technique today, I'm just going to use the stamp set color and contour with coordinating dies as well. And the next die I'm just going to use is layering circle dies. And one more die I used. This time I used nearly three dice, you know. I think this one, I just forgot the name. Oh my God, what's the name of this dice? It's um, Meadow Dice. I'm just, uh, the third one is Meadow Dice. This is the one I'm just going to use. So come on, let's get started now. Sorry guys, I just forgot to pre-cut my base card. So I'm just going to... Use early espresso as my base card. I'm just cutting exactly at 10.5. This is A4 card star. So I'm just cutting. Okay. The next I need is code this one at 14.9. I don't have this coding tool. piece aside so the base card is ready now let me show the layers what I'm just going to use I'm going to use my foil as my background for today's card I never tried foil as my background card before so these two pieces for inside. The first thing I'm just going to emboss this one using the beautiful tea flowers embossing folder. This is the one I'm just going to use. Let me get my stamp and cut an emboss machine. Three of them. Wow, look at here. How beautiful is this? I love this one. Okay, now keep this piece aside. Now I'm just going to emboss one more piece. This is for inside, okay? The next two pieces, I'm just going to die cut um, the circle dies and using the crumb kit and then scallop circle one using the basic white. So this is the largest one I used to cut this one, okay? The next to largest, this one. For this. So, to cut these two. Now keep this piece aside. Few more pieces to save time. These two pieces, these two, and then these two. I just used pale papaya cardstock using this die and then basic white using this one and then the next one I used this die here I just used a white vellum to die cut the piece now keep all the die cut pieces aside the first thing I'm just going to stamp my image. I'm just going to use this image here. And I'm just getting my limited extra black ink. Next I'm just using my ink pale papaya. This is fine. Now I'm just going to stamp one more. This is for inside, okay? Okay. 
to skip this piece aside but i just need to die cut this piece now keep this um now keep this piece aside the next step i'm just going to stamp the same image on white vellum cardstock i'm just going to stamp this image on white embossing powder okay embossing powder let me get some scrappies of paper here okay. now I'm just going to die cut these two pieces using this okay I'm just going to die cut these two pieces just keep this one aside. I'm going to stamp my sentiment using the again the verse marking. This is the sentiment I'm just going to use and emboss it using the same white embossing powder. I'm just using my scissor to fussy cut it and now keep this piece aside I'm going to assemble everything the first step I'm just getting my base card and then just let me get my glue make sure it's lined here I'm going to stick like this Look at the foil, it looks so beautiful. Add these two pieces now. I'm just getting some sponge jobbers. I just want to give some dark shade on the flowers. Yes. Next, I'm just getting my um, stamping blends, light and light and dark shade. First, I'm just getting my dark shade, just going to color in from backwards, just coloring in a rotation manner. Look at here, you can see only slight shade of the pale papaya, but it's okay. Just giving a little bit here as well. I'm just going to assemble everything. I'm going to attach this one here using some stamping dimensional. Just adding it here. Now I'm just going to attach all the pieces here.
and finally i'm just adding the white vellum like this here okay so i'm not going to add any glue but i'm just going to add glue dots okay now just going to attach this sentiment here like this the next add this um ribbon just going to add this ribbon but in a different way just going to cut this one here and cut this one into half I'm just doing a bow with this one. Just a little bit longer, okay? Now I'm going to attach this bow here like this. I'm going to add the brushed metallic adhesive back dots but this one it's really absolutely gorgeous today's card is almost finished i'm just getting my craft mat and i'm just going to splatter some basic black and wink of still on the background slightly look at my fingers most of the times it's become black just a moment My today's card is finished. Hope you all like my today's video. Please don't forget to click the next link. You can see on the YouTube description below. See you soon. Until then, it bye from Ageshwari. See you. Bye bye.